the Seahawks are favored by one on the road. Over under for this game is 46. Stafford is expected back. Stafford, you're starting as a high end quarterback too, mid high to mid end quarterback too, with Cooper Cup, Puka Nakua, Tyler Higby, Tutu Atwell, Daryl Henderson, probably the lead back here. Yes, he's a with smash. Kyron Williams expected to return next week in week 12. Like Henderson has exceeded 56% of snaps in two of the three games, but, but maybe there's a shift that's going to happen after the bye. Henderson has not averaged more than 3.4 yards per carry in any of his games. Royce Freeman, on the other hand, has played overall better than Daryl Henderson from an efficiency standpoint. But we'll see if there have been changes to this running back room. It's been pretty gross, though. Yes, it has been very gross. But I do think that Henderson is going to take the the. I think I think one. I think this is going to be a big a big scoring week from both teams. I don't think the Rams play a lot of man to man coverage, which is like what Geno struggles against. And even if he they did. I think that the DK Metcalf, and I know Tyler Lockett came on the injury list a little later in the week. So this could be DK Metcalf, JSN, Kenneth Walker. You play all, you play everybody if you have them, I think, in this game. If you have a piece of this game on regular season teams, like this is this is the week to play a little bit of everybody. Yes. It could be, it could be, it could be the DC defenses aren't like amazing. They get they just brought in Bruce Irvin, I believe. To the Seahawks, they brought in somebody. I, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, they brought in Jason Peters to start at left tackle. They brought in a defensive uh, lineman, but I don't. It, it, they're they're not looking good defensively uh, either side of these guys. Like they have one good cornerback on Seattle, and I don't, I don't think that safety came back is the same as he once was. Jamal, yeah, Williams. I think. Yeah, thank you. I think this is a definitely play your wide receivers. I love Tyler Higby. But this is not his season with Puka Niku coming out. So no, this he's he's gonna get signed by like some. He's gonna go to the, the Panthers. Panthers next year. Yeah, yeah. it was perfect. <laughs> it's perfect there. Like that's that's where he's going next year, and he's gonna succeed there. But now with Niku is showing out, I think it's Nakua, Cup, and uh, and uh, Daryl Henderson. I think those are the the Rams you want to play. Yeah, I have Higby at tight end eighteen right now, yeah. and. There's not a lot of upside at this point. You mentioned no. because of both Cup and Nakua's target shares, they're they're gobbling it up. And could, Nakua has earned more targets during that time than Cup, even as wild as it as it's been. Nakua has played very very well. People have tried to. I have like fifty something percent exposure to Nakua in Dynasty, nice. and people have tried to buy low on Nakua. They've offered no. me. They're late Nothing. first and late second. And I'm like, nope, I'm not letting him go. I I, yeah, I love Buka Nakua. Yeah. I had been saying for months and months, even through when was it, April? I think it was April, March or April, when I started tweeting about Puka Nakua last year and or this past year. And I I can't like I want to continue to victory lap, Felix. No, no, I'm I'm 100 on board. I wasn't on board before the the draft or whatever. I came on to when I started focusing on like, right afterwards like, to see the final rosters and see like, who's on the team and whatnot and who's making it. And I, I saw Puka Nakua. I was like, I didn't know anything about this guy, so I I went watched all of his tape. I was like, oh, this dude actually reminded me. If Cup gets hurt, this is going to be the guy. And yeah. so I smashed a bunch of Nakua early and a little bit towards the end. But once they found out that he was going to be hurt, and yeah, it feels great to have a bunch of Nakua. Unfortunately, oh. I, a lot of my teams suck because they had Cooper Cup instead of Tyreek Hill or CMC. It is what it is. So be it.